Hey there, welcome back. Well, if you're a bit like me, you get your smart home all set up, you add all these entities, and then you don't know what to actually create as really usable automations. So the developer of this Hex integration has found a solution for exactly that. What it does is have a look at the entities within your system, and then it goes and pulls an idea from AI as to what you might run as an automation, and then it creates some YAML text to actually create that automation. So let's have a look at how this works. So a big shout out to Graham Hosking for developing the AI automation suggester for us. So what does this do? It effectively collects data about your smart home, looking at entities, devices, areas, and existing automations. Then it goes and it creates a prompt. Now you can either put in a custom prompt, which will steer it towards certain areas, or you can just let it make its own recommendations. Next, it will send that information over to your choice of AI agent, and there's a whole lot that you can choose from there. And then it will come back and give you some suggestions, and it will also create an AI developed YAML um, code for you that you could actually plug into Home Assistant and create that automation. So first thing we do is go along to Hex. We search for AI Automation Suggestion. There it is. And we download it and we'll just download the version that they suggest, 1.4.1. .1. Next you need to go along and restart Home Assistant. The next step is to create the API key. Now you might already have an API key that you're using, but if you don't have one, you can create a free one using Google Gemini. So you open up the Google AI Studio. You'll need to log in with your Google account or create a new one. And then you just go create the API key, give it a name. We'll just call this HA test and select a project. So just, we'll just create a project for that. We'll just call it test, create the project, select the test project, create the key, copy our API key. Now we go back to Home Assistant, settings, devices and services, add integration. And now we go AI automation suggester. There we go. Um, so we're going to use Google and we're going to submit that. We're going to paste our key in over there like that. I'll just leave it as it is and I'll submit it. Uh, we can select an area. I'll just stick it in the kitchen where my home assistant is running. And there we go. It's all connected and running. Now, in order to see what it's recommended, you go to the notification section, which is right down at the bottom on the left side tab of your home assistant. So having a look at what it's suggesting here, it's talking about the text to speech. So it's created three different ideas that we could use with a text to speech. So it knows, for example, that I've got text to speech running in my home because I have a Home Assistant Preview Edition. So it's told me three different options here. So the first one is it knows there's a front door sensor. So it's saying if the front door sensor is open, announce that the front door has been opened. The second one is saying um, it's picked up that I've got some temperature sensors. So it's suggesting that I do a daily status report at 7 a.m. every morning go along and announce the temperature. So we can also say to it, give it a custom prompt, which will actually prompt it to create automations around a certain thing. So I've selected the custom prompt over here and I've said suggest automations for air quality. Now let's go and have a look. We'll perform the action and let's go and have a look. So what it's suggesting to me here is that when the particulate matter level has exceeded a certain level, turn on the air, air purifier and send a message to my phone. Um, another sensor it's got here is when it's gone below a certain measure, turn it off. So this is a really cool automation. It measures to see how my air quality is. It then takes an action if I've got bad air quality and it then checks to see whether the air quality has improved and then switches off the air purifier. Now, after having a look at the YAML code a little bit more closely, even though I'm certainly 
by no means a YAML coder. I did notice that the YAML code is not a complete version of what you need to actually create these automations. So you do actually need to either edit this YAML code yourself to create a full automation or recreate this in the editor within Home Assistant. So overall, in summary, I'd be really interested to hear what you think of this little hex integration. Um, obviously, it's taking advantage of AI, interrogating your Home Assistant and giving you some feedback. I'm really excited to see in the future where this is going to go. Um, I think the ultimate at the end of the day will be a case where you can basically just talk to your smart home and say, I want you to do this and it will create automations for you. So I'm sure that's coming, but it's not quite there as yet. So I'd be great to hear your feedback, hear what you're doing. If you've appreciated this video, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to catching up with you again soon in the next one. Bye for now.